Hi guys, welcome to Power Cubicle Guy. Hope everyone is doing good out there. In today's show, I am going to give a demo to prove that relationships are much much faster than the lookup value. But before that, a small intro. So guys, as you see here, uh, I have a sales table, sales fact table, a customer dimension and a product dimension. So customer dimension and sales fact table are related over customer key. If I open and show the relationship, it's many to one from fact to dimension, which it should be. All right. And if I open the relationship of product to sales, it's the it's based on the product key which is again many to one from pack to dimension, which it should be. And both the relationships are active, right? Now let's go to tax studio to do some calculations and evaluate the server timings. So here in tax studio, I want to calculate the average age of my customer using the customer birth date at the time of uh, the order placed and using the customer key from customer uh, dimension and the customer key from the sales uh, fact as the join instead of using the uh, direct relationship i am specifying here in the uh, dax measure so now, now let's uh, run this query and see the server timings so here it shows 44 milliseconds right so there is another way of achieving the same thing by using the existing relationship. So if I go to the next query, instead of hard coding the relationship there, I am using the related function to specify the already existing relationship in my uh, Power BI model and using the customer birth date again to calculate the average age of my customer. Now if I uh, run this query, so you see the results are returned in 2 milliseconds for the same calculation. So this proves that using the existing relationship is much much faster than using the uh, lookup value here uh, as shown in this uh, DAX measure calculation. Because here the calculate function comes into effect and the context transition uh, happens on a larger data set right so that's why it's taking more time so guys uh, this is an efficient way using the related function and using the existing relationship over using the lookup value so there is there will be a huge uh, difference in timings if we go with a very huge data set so mine data set is a bit small but if it is a huge data set then it will be a lot of uh, performance issues if we use the lookup value instead of using the existing relationship. So hope uh, this video will help you guys to create more efficient Power BI reports. Alright and also guys please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys and see ya.